New opinion polls suggest Australians support many of the measures announced in last week's federal budget, but won't switch their vote on the strength of it. The numbers give the Prime Minister and Treasurer ammunition as they defend their new bank tax. There's little love for the budget here. <laughs> on a university campus this morning, the Treasurer ignored this and talked up policies where there might be some love, like using the Medicare levy to fund disability insurance. I think Australians get that. We know we help our mates, and I think that has been well received. News poll agrees. 54% back the tax hike, similar to numbers in last week's Seven News Reach Till poll, and a worry for Labor. Bill Shorten argues the wealthy should pay for the NDIS. We do not support millionaires paying less and 10 million people paying more. Polls are no substitute for news. There's lots of polls. Yes, though where they back the Prime Minister, he's embracing them. What you've seen is strong support for the budget measures. Strong support for them. Like the one and a half billion dollar a year tax on big banks. Australians love it. News polls thumping majority, similar to Friday's Seven News poll and a new Ipsos poll. The government's headline budget measures win support, so the government wins support. Well, no. There's the worry for Malcolm Turnbull. He scrapped the hated measures from the 2014 budget, belted the banks and spent up big, and the voters' view of his government? If anything, it slipped backwards. After preferences, news poll has the government losing. The seven news poll worse again. The Prime Minister's popularity numbers have improved. Government MPs will hope that's an early sign this budget might yet win them some support. Tim Lester, Seven News.